worldwide. Okay. It started here in Tulsa, yeah. Oklahoma. Uh, it's going on in Africa. It's going on in China. And uh, we have this privilege to have it in Balkan region. Yeah. We will start with Serbia, Croatia, yeah. Macedonia, Montenegro. You will have a trip and yeah, we will say a little bit more about uh, that. But how this vision came into your heart to share with this, let's say, third world regions yeah. uh, where people are still poor and, and yeah. unemployed in bigger percentage? Yes. Well, first of all, I do like to travel. In, in my travels in missions, I saw that there's a problem in almost all the world, mm -hmm. especially in the developing nations. There's a lot of need. Mm -hmm. The need is large. There's a lot of unemployment. Sometimes I think in Serbia, maybe 30, 35 percent mm -hmm. unemployment. I know of some African countries that they tell me it's 70 percent unemployment. I cannot have imagined that. Mm -hmm. And so I look at those situations and I say, you know, if at first, but this would be wrong, if I had lots of lots and lots and lots of money, I would just send all this money and I'd solve all their problems. Yeah. It would not solve any of their problems. It would so cause more problems. It would make them eat for a few times for a, for a season till the food's on gone. And then they would look to me and say, where's more food? Send more food. So rather than think we're going to answer every business and economic and financial problem with sending more money, we're sending skills, expertise. You see, they're my brothers and sisters in Christ. They're people that are real people. Those are people that, that God loves and I love, and I don't know them all personally, but when I came to and start seeing that, wow, the business encouragement, the business training, the business uh, IBB talks could have a chance of bringing real change to people because they could learn, and we would encourage them to hear from God, use the same principles we've used, learn how to start a business, and how to prosper, how to employ other people. Now we're on the right path. Mm -hmm. You know, you can teach someone how to fish, and they can fish and feed themselves for a life. We've heard this story. Mm -hmm. But, or we can go feed them one day with fish, and it'll be done the next day. Mm -hmm. So I became passionate about that part of being part of the economic solution. So basically, insight, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah comes before actually giving money. If Very you give much money so. yeah. and someone does not know how to handle it, it yeah. will go away. Or even they don't know how to handle it, or they actually makes them become dependent upon me. Mm -hmm. Forever and ever and ever. We see that happen. We see countries that are not standing on their own because we've sent too much money. And I, I'm not against sending money. Please yeah. don't think I'm a tightwad. And mm -hmm. I, I support missions. I support people. But I'm very careful to only try to help when I think it's really helping the person. So the money I am involved with goes to help people that will start and grow businesses or start and grow and excel in helping business people mm -hmm. that will start businesses. So having this in mind what you just said, yeah. uh, we can say that you will uh, visit our region. Yeah. We know right now that it will be in November. That's you our will plan. bring with you also some speakers from I Austria, believe. from yeah. Europe. and That's our plan. Uh, you will also visit Africa after that. But uh, we are more interesting right now in Balkan region. Okay. And uh, we know that uh, you will actually teach and you will have some mm -hmm. conferences, seminars, workshops. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us? Uh, I know that there are a lot of young people that need what you want to okay. offer, even more than money, because uh, as we heard, passion, skills are coming before money. Money will follow. So uh, can you call them uh, now? Can you say why it is good that they come? Uh, yes. I would like you to give them right now one message. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we sincerely you invite you as the Balkan region people. Uh, to come to anything we have scheduled. It's open to you in the public. It's free. At this point, we don't have vision of pay, uh, charging for the, the events other than helping to cover maybe the cost of a meal if you eat the meal or a very, very minor cost. It would be only to help you and help the system. But we're coming with what we think to be lessons that will help you start businesses, help you grow your business, 
and help you excel in your business. So if you have a business currently, we'll hope to bring lessons and teachings we believe will help you that are globally true, that are true at any, at almost any, they're basic, like, like, like uh, gravity is true no matter where we're at, that's a true law. We're bringing truth and laws and, and principles that will help you grow your business. And so with that, we're doing them in a, a simple format. It follows the IBB talks format where we'll have most of our speeches and talks in very short lessons. It forces us to be very on target with one subject and then I may teach on more than one subject. Roger may teach on more than one subject and the value of that is our website. You'll see that uh, IBBtalks.com is a growing list of short eight-minute teachings on subjects not always just from America, not only from Serbia, but from Africa, from Mexico, from other countries. Because again, we're looking for truth that is globally true. Mm -hmm. So I can learn from a success, my successful business person, uh, uh, Fosto, a marvelous business person from Quito, Ecuador. You understand? Okay. Yes. He's on. He's on our website. Thank and you. So we're Thank you for this invitation. Yeah. I really appreciate again and. Uh, that you are coming. Maybe at the end uh, it will be also good. We rejoice today. We saw that you already work in Africa. There are some first fruits coming alive. Yeah. We saw a man who started the business with chicken. Can you tell us this like appetizer for the okay. people that will come? Yeah. Okay. Well, we were in Africa and as would be the case, there's a lot of poverty and people wanting and thinking that we would maybe bring some money mm -hmm. and we bring lots of money and we go give it to them so that but many of those people are not ready mm -hmm. for the money and it would be unwise for us to give that money. Yeah. So in this particular story, my friend Joel, uh, after we had told people about how they could start small and grow step by step, most of the people were thinking, oh, that sounds so interesting, but it won't work here because you don't understand, this is Africa, mm -hmm. that will never work here. You don't understand how hard it is. But Joel on video says, yes. I did what was right. I did it without any Americans. I started with seven chickens. Listen to his teaching. And of those seven chickens, he says they're more ranged chickens, so they're not, uh, they're not delicate. They're able to live mm -hmm. in that environment. They didn't import them. And only five of those seven were hens, so they have eggs. And those five hens that had five eggs after they grew big, mm -hmm. they had eggs, mostly four or five eggs a day. And it grew, and it grew, and he's already, by saving and learning, and today, 500 chickens. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was now when I was there almost six months ago. By now, he's well at his goal of 2,000 chickens. I know he's made it because he learned how to feed and, and take care of five hens. Mm -hmm. And five hens, by taking the eggs and eating some, selling some, and, 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 and trading some for food, he had more chickens. That's the answer. And that's the way. Well, other things are very similar. If you want a restaurant, start with just feeding a few people. 